Testify, a collection of cautionary tales. The Book of Poetic Therapy is a compilation of autobiographical stories that tell of the trauma experienced by a young African-American man within the LGBTQIA community during the 1990s and early 2000s. The setting is primarily between the cities of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in Atlantic City, New Jersey, during a time of chaos and transition within the culture. The book details one man's journey through the perils of young adulthood. The testimonials contained within the text are shared to empower readers slash listeners to engage in their own self-analysis with the intention of seeking the purpose as to why they were created. The brutally honest testimony artistically expressed within this book illustrates the trajectory of one individual's personal migration through what is considered a pivotal phase of life. In alignment with the tenets of the faith, the poetic storytelling of the book culminates with the God-inspired lesson that was learned that has compelled the author to testify. Young and in the dark. I was 18 years old, young, vibrant, and full of life, focused on my future. No, I didn't think about anything twice, for I was care and worry free and wanted to do me. I was wild as I could possibly be running the streets of Philly. Smart place, Allegro's two, stars and stars T O O two. Twilight, the Nile, Revival, and the Trocadero, too. Many nights that turned into mornings were spent in bars and clubs. Then on the crowded street corner of 13th and Walnut until the sun came up. After dancing all night long at one of the after-hour spots, we would make our way to the diner to order something quick and hot. The party continued as we chatted, ate, and laughed. For the night was far from over, this was only the start of the second half. As we shared meals and listened to music that from the jukebox was blaring, the cruising that had begun on the dance floor of the club had now become more daring. The dude that had stared you down in the club would soon be nodding his head to ask, yo, what's up? And as you would respond with a smile and a slight nod in return, he would lick his lips just to let you know that it was you he wanted to get with. You would turn away as if in conversation with friends, but would occasionally glance to see if he was still being reeled in. And as usual, the eyes would meet as soon as the glance was made, and you knew all you needed to know without even one word having been said. For although the nightlife was definitely about the party, that party would have been incomplete without the necessary meet and greet. Now when the after party in the diner was over and everyone began to leave, the crowd would once again head back out into the street to reconvene. With the kids talking loud and throwing shade, insulting each other mercilessly, consideration of feelings were almost never made. Before long, the dude from the club and diner would approach and ask, you coming with me? And with a wave of the hand goodbye, you would be on your way to some distant neighborhood of the city. Sometime the next afternoon you would awake, too young and inexperienced to even be ashamed of the fact that the dude you were laying next to, you had already forgotten his name. 